Allow me to introduce you to File Explorer on steroids. This simple customization can be done without having to install a bunch of apps or patching tools. Follow the steps ahead to learn how to achieve this unique outlook. Head onto your browser. We're just going to be using one application and that is Windhawk. Proceed to download Windhawk. Click on this icon right here. And once that is done, straight up, we're going to click on the setup. Install it right here. Yes. And click on install. Click on finish. Here is the home page for the Windows app. Now to gain access to all the installed modes, we're going to go right to the explore. Click on explore. So we have vast majority of modes right here and we're going to be taking this step by step. For the first one, we're going to type translucent windows. Okay. Translucent windows. Once you get that, click on details. Now click on install. Don't worry about this. Proceed to install it. Wait for it. Now the installation is complete. Go ahead to settings. Now we're going to enable the window theme custom rendering. Toggle that on. Go on to the next one. Do the same. Toggle it on. You want to toggle this one as well. Now under effect, go right here to expand it. Here we're going to choose acrylic. Click on that. Scroll down a bit. As for immersive dark mode title bar, you can toggle that as well and toggle this one as well. Then scroll back up and click on save settings. Now if you minimize this and you open the file explorer, you can see that we have this beautiful translucent effect. And as we can see here, this looks out of place. We're going to get rid of this black line. Minimize your file explorer. Go back to Windows. Proceed to explore. Now this time we're going to search for Windows 11 Explorer Styler. Okay. Once you get this, click on details. Go ahead to install it. Proceed to install it right here. Wait for it. Once that is done, go ahead to settings. And right here on that theme, we're going to expand this. Now we're going to select this first one right here, Translucent Explorer. Click on that. Then click on save settings. Now minimize window cap. Now go back to the file explorer. You can see that this black line is not there anymore. Now we have this translucent effect all around. Okay. And this is looking good already, but I'm going to show you one thing right here. Now in this downloads, we can see on the right side here that all this file size are in kilobytes. Okay. We only have all this in KB and now we're going to install a mode that will give us the precise size in MB and also in KB. All right. So I'm going to minimize this and go back to Windows and here proceed to explore. Now we're going to search for better file size in Explorer details. Click on details. Proceed to install and click on it. Install it. So once the installation is done, we don't have to do anything else. Just minimize this. Then we'll go back to the file explorer. Then we're going to close the file explorer. Reopen it. Now, as we can see here, we have the precise file size in GB, MB and in KB. Okay. Nobody has the time to be converting KB to GB or MB. So this is a very useful mode and we're not done yet. We're going to the next one. I'm going to minimize this and go on to Windhawk. Click on explore. This time I'm going to search for resource redirect. Now click on details. Click on install. Proceed to install it. Wait for it. Go ahead to settings. And right there on the icon theme, we're going to expand this. As we can see here, we have vast majority of themes we can choose from. For the sake of this video, I'm going to choose Linux FX 11 AIO by Nivo. Shout out to Nivo. Click on this right here and select save settings. And now if you get this kind of notification, click on yes. Minimize Windows. I reopen your file explorer. Now, as we can see right here, we have these beautiful icons on the file explorer. Everything is looking good, guys. You can try to experiment with other themes. If we go back right here and you can choose any of these themes to implement this change. And that is all about that. Okay. So I'm just going to X on this to close the window cap. That's going to be all for now, guys. If you find this video helpful, do well to subscribe to this channel. Leave this video a like and of course, share your thoughts at the comment section. Have a nice day. Peace out.